If you couldn't tell, I've played a fair bit of Tyrael and Uther. In my opinion, Tyrael is underrated and makes one of the best tanks in the game, and Uther is a well-balanced support with amazing CC and heals. But both these heroes have one thing in common apart from their association with the light. They both share a problem I greatly dislike. That is, their trait or passive. Essentially, Uther's trait allows him to fight for a while longer after he dies, with all his abilities having 50% effect, and when Tyrael dies, he becomes a timed nuke with wings. So, what's my main problem with these traits? Well, in order for you to make any use of either, you must die. I'm sure you're thinking, well, that's not too bad, it's pretty much inevitable you're gonna die in any game anyway. Well, this isn't actually the case. I've been playing MOBAs since Dota 1 and got really into the genre in the second season of League of Legends and I have learnt a hell of a lot about the genre and one of the biggest lessons I've learnt is DON'T DIE EVER Dying is one of the biggest sins in MOBAs In nearly all of my games I either don't die or had the least deaths on both teams even if we lose You can go and check my match history online if you like this means when I play either Uther or Tyrael, their traits are completely useless to me. And even worse, it never gets used in some games. Professional players will have more incentive to play other heroes because these heroes have useless traits if played correctly. You might say it is justified because it allows beginners to learn the ropes and even if they die it won't matter because they can still help out a bit even in death but I actually think this is worse for beginners because it teaches them it's okay to die. From the get go it's ingraining bad habits and poor strategy into beginners and worse there are talents to improve these traits to encourage you to die. You can even make a kamikaze build. And relax, I know why Blizzard put these talents into the tree, essentially making it so that you wouldn't target the hero because killing them and activating their trait would do more damage than good, sort of like killing a stink bug. And yes, I get it, this works in theory. If that person is not a beginner, they know what they are doing and they still choose to go with this kamikaze build. The enemy team can also escape the consequences of the dead Tyrael slash Uther trait if they either have good mobility split up when the enemy hero dies, or gank them before a major team fight. I think better ways to make these heroes less desirable to kill, because right now no one cares anyway, would be to make their traits better. For example, lowering the damage of Tyrael's explosion, however, they make the explosion explode as soon as he dies, larger AoE, and adds a slowing effect. As for Tyrael, maybe boost the damage a bit with reduced cooldowns and boosted movement speed but the best possible outcome would be to change these traits completely. Also, to get this out of the way, I know that the Lost Vikings and Murky traits also revolve around death, but they are slightly different to Uther's and Tyrael's situation. Murky's being well balanced with a 3 second death timer, and the Lost Vikings are still not great in my book in terms of trait, but at the same time, I can't think of anything better for their playstyle. All in all, I'm saying that there are no benefits to these traits. The consequences highly outweigh the benefits, and for this, Uther and Tyrael are less appealing to professional or serious players, and they ingrain bad strategy into new players. I really hope Blizzard will change these traits, but nonetheless, I like both heroes very, very much, and even if they don't change it, I'm still going to play both because I like them that much. I hope you learned something new from this, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.